हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू लारावल 11 रूल्स एंड परमिशंस लास्ट वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट परमिशन मींस वी आर क्रिएट अ टेबल्स एंड आफ्टर वी आर शो हियर ऑल द परमिशन इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कवर सेव ऑल द परमिशन फॉर दिस रूल्स अगेंस्ट बिफोर वी कैन स्टार्ट फॉर द सेव फॉर दिस रूल्स अगेंस्ट सो यू आर न्यू इन द चैनल अदर इन द सीरीज सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्लीज प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो व्हाट एवर कंटेंट वी आर अपलोडिंग सो ऑलवेज गेट द नोटिफिकेशन and you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to buy any script just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it here okay and also do you want to develop as a freelancer work just contact okay so let's start now so before we need to save this form so we need to create a table so just go to your database and you can create a new table permissions users because of we need to save for this rules sorry permission rules not a user this rules again this is the permission so you just you can create like permission rule and here you can put id auto increments here you can put like a role id whatever rules you are creating for this year suppose editing so this role id against whatever permission there we need to show so this id we need after we need a permission table id means this is the permission id so just you can copy permission id here you can make integer here you can put null now you can create here created and updated dates too so created at and updated at and here you can choose only date and times also here you can choose date and times okay after you click on the save because this is the both is the integer value this is the reasons just click save so you can see table six will created permission rules you see it here okay So now we need to go to our add role page and we need to make here array and this array against we are getting this ID. So simply you can go to resources views. Inside go to panels. Inside you can see role and inside you can see it like add dot blade dot php. After just scroll down, so here you can see name. So here you can make like array permissions ID. So whatever you are choose, so automatic create array inside a form for this form. and here you can provide a value whatever group inside id available so this value we need to provide here suppose you are watch last video so you can better way understands okay so simply you can save let's go back again and we can refresh the page so we can check error there cannot there so you can see it here is a no any errors and here is a already there error you can see it here you see error permission id error okay Now you can go back again. Just go to app HTTP controller. Inside you can see it like a role controller. Here is our insert function. So just make here DD, and you can make request all. So we can understand is working not working. So what I can show you follow flow wise. So just routes inside web. Inside you can see it like a post method, and here you can see it like a insert. And this is the function inside we are making request all. So we are checking what we are getting here. simply you can refresh here and just go to roles so we can check three we are complete so let's complete uh, here we can make like normal users normal okay and i just choose dashboard users and roles and i can choose add category edit category delete and you can do it sub category products like this permission you are provide after just click on the save button so here you can get the array of the all the id of the permission so simply we need to store in new tables So first, we need to store in new tables. So we need to create a model. So let's create a model. So just I copy this name, and I can put here paste and just do permission role model. Just copy this name and go to models, new file, and save and dot php. Just paste here. Suppose I need to copy again as another file and paste here. After I will change. for this name now here also i can change permission rule okay this is the table name now we don't need anything else just remove here okay so simply we have created one models and model against we have call our tables you can set permission rule okay now here you need to pass whatever data you are getting inside a form here you can getting like a permission id just copy this id permission id and you can pass here insert records like this function you can create insert and update records 
because of we are using same function both time insert and update record i don't want to create again again this reason i am creating only one common function and always update time work and edit time also work this reason okay so just you can pass here permission id after you can pass here your role id whatever role you are creating just you can do it like this okay so is uh, you are already get last id whatever insert here you are getting and this model we need to declare here now we need to create a new function inside a permission role model static functions and function name and here you can put like a static words because we are calling the function directly this is the reasons okay and here you can put role id here you can do it permission ids okay because of is a multiple available this reason i have created for this name whatever name do you want to like you can put it here now first what we can do we can make here for each loop has a permission id simply and after you can go inside and here we need to save the data so just you can do save is equal to new permission role model here you can pass dollar save permission id is equal to permission id because database column name also permission id after you can do it here role id okay and after you can save here so you can see it's working very well i think so because of we have write code so first of all we are trying is working not working after we can do in update side okay so let's go back again just press control f5 i don't want to fall fail again form and we can check it's working not working so it's working very well roles are fully created and here you can see normal let's go to our database and we can check here entry found cannot found so here you can see it role id against all the permission id found means it is working very well now we need to work inside edit add time done just click on the edit buttons let's click on the edit button for the same like fourth one so let's go back again role and you can copy for this function for add time you did just same thing you can do it edit time okay and you can go to back again panel role inside edits and you can open this file after you can just copy for all the function means this is a form method and you can paste inside a edits because of we just need to change for this name so simply you can change so we don't work more this is the reasons otherwise do you want to do like your end so you can do let's make a like step by step work so it's good for you and you can understand first we can put here nine simply after just go up no, no need to go up just you can copy for this one and you can paste here is a step by step works okay otherwise you can copy paste so also possible let's go back again refresh the page here so you can see same thing found whatever did in the add time but we need to move this button down this update button just copy and you can put here downs let's go back again refresh the page here so you can see it's working very well now whatever permission you are provided so we need to show back like a checkbox this permission we have did in add time as well edit time so we need to make a checkbox so simply we need to get all the data for this permission so just go to role controller and here you can make like a get roles permission you need to create a new variable. otherwise you can do direct declaration so it's good i have no issue and you can put here get role permission whatever you did this permission you need to get so simply you need to call for this model and here you can pass get role permission here also you can pass role id okay now you need to go to back inside a permission role model i need to create a new function simply you can go and here you can create a static function here you can pass role id because we have already passed here one parameter you can see it here role id and here you can make return self you can use otherwise do you want to use class name also possible let's use a class name where role id is equal to dollar role id here you can pass get okay so you are back the data 
for whatever this role id against data available is going to back now you are getting here get role permissions now we need to go back inside edit and here you can put another for each loop for the checked so simply you can do here at first you can create one variable if php and php because we need to declare here php so i can declare one variable checked is equal to blank okay now you can go inside like a group here working our for each loop so you can put here other outside whatever place do you want to like this variable you can put it and here you can do like if no we have put wrong place so don't worry i can replace change for each get role permission has a permission whatever name do you want to provide otherwise user you can provide like a role you can provide whatever do you want to like name this is a name you can provide and here you can make and for each this variable we have declared we don't want to use here because here is a looping wise data getting same thing we have did in add time suppose i am going to back get record permission model inside so you can see it we have did like a grouping wise data in last video so just we need to same function we need to call and we can go back data here so simply you can put here like a for each you start checked you can put it here, here we need to check condition if role inside whatever permission id available like a permission id this is the database column name same thing we have did here so just copy paste is equal to is equal to for this group id you can put it here and here you can do it and if okay now you can put here checked so you can pass here checked and here you can make it like a checker so let's see it's working not working just go back again refresh the page here so it only is a product permission available i think so this reasons no permissions so are lots of available why is not working we need to check like if roles permission id is equal to groups inside id and here i pass a checker so what is the problem because already there value groups groups inside you can find out get role permissions here role let me check what we did here what we are getting inside a role id again so just we can make dd so we can understand better way okay let's go back again refresh the page here so we can check what data i getting here getting nine data so means is working very well let me go back again permission id also is a different difference there so also need to work simply and here is a check okay because of this is the i have put inside for each loop no need to put inside for loop just you can put outside sorry about that this reason not working okay sometime i forget sometime you are also forget so like this issue generated before i have did inside inside for each loop this reason generated the issue but we need to put outside this for loop again we need to make a checking like a, this role id is available for this group id again yes available so checker is passing and we can print here okay so let's go back again and refresh the page so 100% work because of i have found my mistakes you can see dashboard user role category sub category products you can see it here now you are choose this one and you can click on update so what we can do we need to remove all thing inside database old come old permission i went to add a new permission so simply you can go back again role controller and you can call same function here okay because of already there here is a permission id as a array you can see it. Uh, also you can get the checked data let's show you first you can show because because of you understand very well i am not deleting record first just you can submit updates other submit whatever button name you set and you can go back again so here you can see it like duplicate entry found like for against ones already there and here also for against already there so we need to remove first old record and after we need to do new records okay so let's edit this one again and refresh the page so you can see it's working very well no issue but database inside duplication record found just go to back again inside update record same function and here you can do like here where role id is equal to dollar role id 
and here you can put like a deletes so what are you doing first you're removing the old record and after is adding new record because of already there inside a permission ids okay let's go back again refresh the page just click on the update button so you can see it here now 13 old record is removed you can see it here and new record found same thing you can go to admin and you can check all like dashboards whatever permission do you need you can check all and just click on the update button and you can see it's like this rules id against you can find out new is not removing old one because this is the rule id different and this rule id different suppose i am back to again and i can choose like this rules so i just click on the updates sorry this permission i just click on the updates so you can see like a new record found old record also removed here you can see it like id 35 before 36 is removed but starting 43 means is a role against permission we ever save inside database so i hope you are clear what i did we have did simply just whatever your data we have stored inside new tables and after you edit and you can update your role permission so next video we can make like a here suppose you have permission for the dashboard so dashboard against whatever there inside so you can see it also user inside whatever there you can see it suppose you are giving me the permission otherwise not provide whatever permission you are providing inside role against this is the permission work but before we can like this do we need to create a users and user can log in and he can see it i hope you have clear what i explain so i hope you can understand in this video what i did and you have any question so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching error solutions